What's up friends and welcome back to my channel. After months of debating over whether or not to buy this Kickstarter, I finally pulled the trigger and bought the Neo Rhythm by OmniPem. It is yet another brain stimulating headband that's supposed to help you focus more, get better sleep, meditate easier, relieve back pain, and learn Kung Fu faster than Neo from the Matrix. Sound too good to be true? Well, I've been testing it out for the past three weeks using my Muse headband and Aura Ring to measure its effectiveness. And so in this video, I'll be sharing how this thing works, my personal experience and brain experiments. And finally, we'll address is it actually worth the price? And I have an important disclaimer about their return policy, so make sure to listen up for that. But first, if you're new here, welcome. My mission is to help you achieve success without sacrificing your health or happiness. I do product reviews weekly, so if you're into this, click that subscribe button and join the type A tribe. So let's kick things off with what is this and how does it actually work? So Neo Rhythm is unlike a lot of other brain stimulation headbands on the market right now. Most of those use low level electrical currents. This one uses pulsed electromagnetic stimulation or PEMF. Now there is a lot to unpack here, but let's start with the very basics. So your brain is made of billions of nerve cells called neurons. Welcome back to seventh grade science. And these both gather and carry electrochemical signals throughout your body. It is a very cliche analogy, but if you do think of your brain kind of like a computer, all of these neurons function kind of like the gates and the wires that power up your computer. And adding in just a touch of physics, we know that a magnetic field can cause an electrical current. And so tying all of this together, the theory here is that electromagnetic stimulation at certain frequencies can actually impact your brain waves like theta, gamma, and alpha. And these brain waves can especially be felt during relaxation and sleeping, focus mode, et cetera. Now, I am certainly not a neuroscientist, and so this is my very condensed and high-level overview. But if you want a more deep dive into the science with an actual doctor, I would definitely check out Cody Rawls' Tech for Psych YouTube channel. He actually goes over all of this in great detail, and I will link it for you in the show notes below. Now, when it comes to PMF, this is still a relatively newish technology meaning it's been used in the clinical setting since the 1980s, but we've just seen some of these at-home devices pop up in the last few years. And for the most part, my personal experience with PMF has been around pain and inflammation. I've actually tested out a $40,000 PMF therapy machine at Upgrade Labs in LA. Now I've tested it out about a dozen times or so, and after every 30 minute session, I can feel a noticeable change in my hip pain. And the results usually last um, about a week. Plus the technology has been used in the equine space for a number of years to help with things like bone regeneration and joint inflammation for injured horses. So I really do believe in the science behind PMF therapy, especially when it comes to pain relief. But I think that pulse intensity matters here. And so when it comes to brainwave entrainment, I still have some big questions around the effectiveness of such a small dose, but more on that in a sec. So now that we've touched on the science a bit, let's talk about the actual unit itself and how it works. So to steal a word from MKBHD's playbook, this thing is crispy. It's got this low profile minimalist design thing going for it and better yet, no wires or sticky pads. Now what you don't see from this sexy outer shell is that the near rhythm device actually has five inverted coils woven inside. And so depending on the placement of the band on your head, these coils will target different parts of the brain with certain magnetic frequencies. Let's talk about sleep, for example. When you're in a state of REM sleep, your theta waves are really in control. For deep sleep, it's more about delta. So Neo Rhythm designed a program with both theta and delta frequencies that you can actually use under your pillow for eight hours. And I'll be sharing the results of my two week experiment using the Neo Rhythm and Aura Ring in just a sec. As for the app, I do have to say it is extremely easy to use. It's all gesture controlled. So you put it on, you tap it once and you connect it to your phone and then you can choose from a list of six settings based on how you wanna feel and for how long. You then just tap it twice again and the program starts. So now let's talk about my results and my personal experience from using it. So let me start off by saying that 
when you put this thing on, unless you are super, super sensitive, you aren't gonna feel anything. They've actually included this little glass tube with a magnet inside, so you can actually hear the different frequencies. I'm sure they probably did it for scientific reasons, but for me, it seemed like they were trying very hard to prove that this is not a gimmick. So starting off with sleep, as I mentioned before, I used this thing for two weeks straight under my pillow for its eight hour program. And after two weeks, I looked back at my data and sadly, nothing really changed. I will say that on the first night of using it, I did see both my REM and deep scores go up a little bit and they were actually both the same, which usually my deep sleep is way lower than my REM. So that was a little bit unusual, but that may have been beginner's luck because I definitely did not see that pattern happen again for the duration of the trial. In fact, my REM scores stayed pretty much the same as they always do. And my deep sleep actually went down a couple of notches throughout the trial. So not really sure how effective this thing is in helping improve your deep sleep. Of course, this is not a perfect experiment because I wasn't able to actually measure my brain waves while sleeping, but where I was able to measure them was in meditation. And here's where things get really interesting. So using both my Muse headband and my Aura Ring for meditation, I was able to track my brain waves, HRV, and resting heart rate. And yet again, I got conflicting results from what I had expected. After a series of 10 to 20 minute meditation sessions, using the Muse both without and then with the NeoRhythm device over different times of the day, I saw very few differences in my overall EEG results. And when testing both out using the Aura's moment feature, strangely enough, my heart rate was lower and my HRV was higher, just slightly, using the Muse device alone. I also use their focus and attention mode to test out my brain waves using Mind Monitor, which actually syncs up to your Muse device. And again, my pattern of brain wave states were pretty much the same both with and without the NeoRhythm on. I will say I did see a slight decrease in my gamma waves while using this device during the focus mode, but honestly, it just wasn't enough to be able to draw any major conclusions from. Now, despite my personal inconclusive trials, there are plenty of people who have claimed to have had success with the NeoRhythm. So I'm not gonna go as so far as to say it's a total sham, but it simply didn't work well enough for me to justify its enormous price of over $300. But where I do find fault with the company is in their shady return policy. Advertised all over their website is buy today, risk-free and 60 day full return policy, yada, yada, yada. I even read their FAQs and they said, all you have to do is return it within 60 days and we'll give you your money back. But what they failed to mention was that you have to send the product back to their headquarters in Slovenia. So if you live in the US, that's gonna cost you at very minimum 60 bucks to ship this via USPS. Now that was definitely not in their fine print or in that little glass bottle with the magnet inside for that matter. So my honest take at the end of the day is this, save yourself 60 bucks and skip this one. I'm not gonna even talk about the sad excuse for a study that they cite on their website using only 25 participants and just two of their six programs. Or the fact that despite the money, there is no neurofeedback feature in this device to actually show you your brain waves changing over time. The NeoRhythm makes a lot of bold claims, but I really think they fail to deliver in my opinion. So after I ship this back, I'm personally going to wait until the team at Halo Sport come out with a cognition device before I make any more big purchases in the neurostimulating space. But hey, that's the risk you take when you invest in a Kickstarter and Wish me luck when I finally get that happy device. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, please make sure to give it two big thumbs up. And if you're not already, make sure to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you get notified each week when I drop a new video. And until then, I will catch you on the next one.